What's up everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Big Brother Live Chats. I wish you guys had smell -o vision because it's smelling delicious in here right now. Our special guests say we're so happy to have them. Mr. Handsome Five. I let him do it himself. <laughs> Mr. Handsome Five, Lawan from Big Brother 13. Guys, if you have any questions for me or Lawan, please hashtag Big Brother Live Chats. Get it to us. Get some questions. Get Lawan all riled up. He's ready to go. He's calm right now, but he's ready to go. So Lawan, what's up, man? Thanks for coming. No problem at all. <laughs> it is no problem. Yeah, well, thank you, man. What have you been up to? What's been going on since Big Brother 13? Living the dream. Oh, yeah? I have been living the dream. Yes. After Big Brother, a lot of people came up to me and was asking me, like, to come and speak with their high schools and junior high schools for... Really? Yeah, for self-esteem, which I thought was kind of crazy. I did, but I guess I'm handsome five, so I guess you, that's I mean, look at, look at this outfit. Is Bam! Bam! There's levels. Get them up there. There Show. are levels. There are levels to this. They've got some socks in From there. From the shoes to the socks. To and where'd you get this that great <laughs> carnation? <laughs> this is just something that just I just popped up. Where do you come up with these ideas to get handsomefied? You know, it just comes naturally. It's yeah. always it's always because you like dress that. like that all Big Brother thirteen. No, I, I've yeah, always... Yeah, you were. You were always handsomefied. I know I was, but I always... I've always dressed like this. Yeah. I've always, you should I get a little. website, like handsomefied website. Well, you know what? That's in the making. Is it really? Yes. Look at me. There it is. There's, there's a LawanXM.com in the making for you all. Because a lot of people <laughs> want to find out... Drop it in there. Oh, yes. I'm going to drop it. Get it in there. So everybody wants to know what I'm doing and all that stuff. So, yes. I'm going to have uh, a website so you can see the different places I've traveled and different places that I go to speak at. And maybe I can come speak to you all. Yeah, what's some of the, so you're an inspirational, motivational kind of speaker? Uh, I, I don't want to say it's Like Tony Robbins, but handsome <laughs> I don't want to say inspirational. I mean, I try to give people, like, to dream big. Because I know, like, me being on Big Brother, for me, that was, like, one dream that came true for me. You were a fan from, for a long time, I was a fan right? for a long time, but I'll have to admit that I stopped. But then, I was a, I was a fan. But that Are was you getting what, distracted over here? I am. Don't okay, get too. distracted over I am, here. I am, I am talking to, but no, really, um, I was always a fan of Big Brother. And when I tried out an audition and I made it, I was like, wow, check that off the wish list. And once <laughs> <laughs> and so once I did that, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do anything I wanna do. So after that, I just soared and like doors opened for me that I never thought would ever happen for me. So I mean, I, I've been in the entertainment industry for a while, but since Big Brother, I have to admit, I mean, doors have opened. I know that if I went on Big Brother and got the exposure, I wouldn't have had that, so. Right, so do you have a steady job now? Or are you working kind of I've freelancing, been, I'm, like in the entertainment? Oh, uh, I've been in entertainment for a while, so I've been I know, I remember you saying some stuff before. Yeah, but but. I, yeah I work in TV legal, television legal, so yeah, I've been working and doing my thing in the entertainment industry, and also going to school, attending school, getting my master's in broadcast journalism, so yeah. There you I've go. been busy, I've been busy. Respect. Thank you. Let's take some questions. Let's take some questions. All right, here we go, man. You ready? Rachel's got the first question today. She wants to know, Luan, <laughs> why, why, why did you put yourself up on the block up. in Big Brother 13? Okay, um, who is this? A man? Who is it? Don't look over oh, here. Oh, it's that? Rachel. Okay. It's Rachel. Right here. Okay, Rachel. Okay. You get, trust me, I'm going <laughs> to give you this answer. No, I'm going to give you this answer because I get it all the time. Now, if I could get paid every time somebody asks me that, I'd be rich. Trust me, it, I get a lot of... But it was not... Okay, you have to remember, when you go inside the Big Brother house, your mind is, like, totally... It's out there. I mean, because you're in a house with all these strangers that, you know, you're trying to get to know, and... What I said, I know. When I after I, let's bring let's okay. bring everyone up to speed. On Big Brother 13, me and Luan were on the same season. Right. I was on the block along with Rach... Was it, who was I on the block? I was on the block. On the block. And for I took myself off the block. Yeah. There was a special power floating okay. around that well, okay, someone okay, was gonna come back in the game. Yeah. Okay. So after I took myself off on the block, someone had to go up, and I believe Clea was H O H that week. Yeah. I didn't go back and watch. This is just my recollection. Okay. okay. So I didn't care who it was, other than Jordan that went up. Right. And then out of nowhere, you were laying low in the game, and out of nowhere, you were the replacement <laughs> nominee. Exactly. So I was laying low. So <laughs> let's go from there. How okay. the hell did that happen? But no, I was laying low, and see, like you said, it was special powers. All all this speculation of what was going to happen with these special powers. And, you know, we were all talking in the house like, okay, well, if someone goes out, maybe if they come back in, you know, they can do such and such and such. So in my mind, I was thinking that. I was. I'm not going to lie. I was like, well, you know, well, since you're in my alliance, because they were, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie, you know. I was like, well, you can go ahead. You, I know you vote me back in. And so you, so you thought you were coming back? I did. I'm not going to lie. I did. 
I did. I thought I was coming back. I did. What's I'm going on? We got a little malfunction. I got a little malfunction. Going We're getting on. so I'm getting so, so jazzed up. But no, um, I thought I was coming back in, and it was for me. I think it was just a. What I said, I shouldn't have said it out. So, loud. what you were trying to make a big move in I, the game? No, I, was, I don't think I was even trying to make a big move. I was just trying to. I don't know. I think I was. You just, still don't know why you did it, I don't, Rachel. <laughs> I don't think we got to the bottom of it. No, no, I don't. I just don't. At that time, at that moment, because I'm gonna be honest with you, I kind of forgot about it and just was like, whatever, because. That was something that everybody kept throwing in my face, like, why'd you put yourself up? You were the worst player ever in Big Brother. So that was one reason. Oh, man. No, I did. They did. They did say this. People, are, people are mean out there. Oh, whatever. Haters, whatever. That makes you just going up. Just make you be successful. That doesn't matter. Go and brush your shoulder yeah, off, brush boo. your shoulder off. Because trust me, when you get in the house, your mind is just going 360 degrees far. And I'm like... Spinning right just off. Just spinning off. Spinning right off. So <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, when I, after I said it, I did. I was like... Zoinks! I was. I knew I had messed up. This is no joke. I knew I had messed up, but I tried to keep it cool. But really, I did. At that at that point. So you knew you. I, oh yeah, I knew. Like after I said what I said, I said, "No, why did I say that?" So when you walked out the door, were you like, "Because I knew." What in the world, were you yeah. like, "Zoinks!" I can't believe I got kicked out. Yeah. Like when you walked out that door. Yeah, when I walked out, I was like, "Damn, why did I say that?" <laughs> no, seriously, I was, I was like, "Wow!" And I was like, "I know some people in the house didn't have my back at one point." And I know we weren't playing, playing partners anymore and all that, so I was like, you know what? Man, I kind of jacked up. I knew it once I said it. Well, you it. made Big Brother history. Let's just let's put it ah, that, that way. History what? Yeah, well, yeah. You know. did. You made Big Brother history by uh, <laughs> by doing that. But whatever. But whatever. Let, let's, uh, let's, Amanda has another question. It kind of brings it up to speed for Big Brother 15. Yeah. So she asks, why do you think Spencer volunteered to go on the block? Do you think that was a bonehead move? Because he... You know, yesterday he volunteered yeah, to put himself yeah. up on the block as a replacement. Think, if he would have went home, like you went home, right. it would have been, sorry, a bonehead move. Right. I don't think. Yeah. I don't, yeah. That was a bonehead move. He shouldn't even uh, put put his stuff on the block. But you think now we survived? So you think he got like a little bit of credit or respect for um, the exterminators? No. Now. No. Now that's I don't group. think he's getting any. You're respect. up to speed, right? Oh yeah. I'm okay. Definitely cool. Do you speed. watch the live feeds? No. You don't. I okay. Do cool. I'm not really a live feeder. I'm not myself. live feeder. No. No. Okay, cool. So now the exterminators, you they, think he got some street cred with the exterminators? Well, he, for the exterminators, that's a whole different story. I mean, they're coming from the moving company, now the exterminators. I know, there's been know? so many. So it's been so many. I I think he made a bone him. Honestly, I'm not a fan of his, so I don't need Yeah, just pay throw it out there. Yeah, I don't even pay attention. Not a, hand, not a fan. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of Spencer. I mean, all the a bonehead move. Yeah. That's all right. For me, I Amanda's happy you answered her question. That's what it's all about, man. You got a question? He'll give it to you straight. Bonehead, he doesn't like him. BB live chat, hashtag it right in. He'll give you it straight. You shoot it straight, man. It's good. Uh, yeah, I have to. I like um, it. I you want to take another one? Yeah. Want to shoot Sarah straight? Yeah. Sarah's ready. She wants to know, how do you feel about the house guests making personal attacks? Do you think it's good gameplay, or do you think it's just ugliness? OK. I'm this is, we were, we we're getting a little goofy, but this okay, is kind this of a serious is, one. No, OK. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I know a lot of people always ask me that, like, this the personal tax, I think, is not gameplay at all. And I think uh, I feel bad for the loyal fans. I do, because I feel like we're paying attention more so of who's going to say something wrong, who's going to say something bad that week, versus who's playing the game. Good point. I, I, that's the way I feel. Totally as, good as a point. fan, I said, because there's so many personal tax. It's like, who do you want to win? Because it's just like, their personal attack on race and just all types of things. And I just feel like that is not a game plan at all. I mean, it's just ugliness. It's ugliness. It's just pure ignorance to me. And it, it's hard to, to even vote for somebody because you, you know I you're like, like I'm pulling for this person, yeah. and then they say something and they stupid, say something stupid, and then everyone's like, well, that, you like this person now right. you're you know right. like I just, the fans are a little crazy. Yeah, and, and yeah, the, but yeah. even even so, not even the fans personally. When someone does something or says something like that, you don't want to cheer. You don't want to cheer anymore. for them anymore. And I just feel like a lot of this season has been about what is someone's going to say about you know their race, their sexuality, and I just feel like that is no gameplay. I mean. I'm going to be honest with you, despite all the racist remarks and all the different things that have been said in the, in the game, I was a fan of Amanda because I feel like she played the game. Okay, cool. She played the game. But I feel like after they started doing all these remarks and all that, you know, personal attacks, uh -huh. you'd be like, they don't deserve to win the game. You see what I'm saying? So, so all those things aside, you think Amanda was playing the best she, Big Brother she game? She played the game. Because we yeah. had Danielle Donato on last week, who's 
really great at the game. And yeah, and yeah she totally said this, she did. She said the same thing as you. Stop playing. I'm shooting you straight. <laughs> yeah, she said the same thing. Yeah, fool. See? <laughs> See what I'm saying? The one, so, man, you're, you're freaking me out. <laughs> no, no, no. But really, but I do. I feel like she played a good game, but it's just all these personal attacks that they're doing on the show now. It's just, it's hard for you to cheer for someone who you want to win. Right. But I, all that being said, there has been some nasty things said this year, and I, and I think they got that's the stigma that goes along with this season. When you remember in the yeah. future, Big Brother I, Twenty, you're going to think back to Big Brother Fifteen, yeah, and know. it's kind of have that stigma attached to it. Do you think there's anything that people or even the house guests in general could do to learn from this experience? Because there's been a lot of ignorant things said. Don't you think it's better to teach them? How, I, what's a, okay, good. Uh, you know where I'm going. I'm with gonna this. Make, you already know I'm going to go. So with go this. ahead. T cut me off. And what okay, do you let think? Let me tell you what I think should happen. How, how could they learn? I know a lot of things have been said on the show this season, but I really feel that hopefully that when they look back on their season, mm -hmm. the ones who's been saying all these nasty things, that someone pulls them to the side and educate them. Because I feel like they're going to come out, and you know how it is when you come out the house. You're all, your mind is just like, whoa, for sure. what, what's happening? And is this real life? You know, but I feel like instead of bashing them with the same way they've been bashing the other people in the house, pull them to the side and teach them something. I'm teach with them, you. Teach them how, I mean, because I just feel like a lot of it is ignorance. They don't know any better. Right. I feel like that. But I also have to think back too. When you're in that house, you know the cameras are on 24-7. You know that. Some way, some shape or form, your true self is going to come out. Right. You know that. It's just like someone's following you right now and they have a camera on you. So I just feel like be accountable for what you say on that show. You're right. You have to. You have to be accountable for what you say. You have to own it because there's no taking it. it back. There's no taking it but back. But there is moving forward in life. So right. they're going to have to move forward in life. So they're, they need someone to help them, educate them in, in the things that they've I done do. wrong. And like you're, you're a speaker and you're good at educating. You want to <laughs> drop a little knowledge on them maybe? Um, look, whoever comes out this house, I know you're going to be shocked of how the fans are going to treat you. I know you're going to be shocked on just, I mean, in general because we live like in a cruel, I mean, just cruel world. But I just feel like if you need someone to educate you on what you said bad, talk to someone who is that type of character. Because I'm telling you right now, I think it will be different once you look back on what you said and you learn from someone who is living it, you might be, be think twice about saying it again. Yeah. I, I like just, it. I just feel like they're ignorant. Words of wisdom Words, from the wand. I mean, I think they're ignorant. I just think they just need to be knowledgeable of what they've said. Right. And, and also be accountable for what they say. Well, I'm sure we're all going to see in a couple of weeks because it's closing yeah. down now. But yeah. that being said, I, I hope uh, I hope people look back on this and like they use it as a learning experience other yeah. than just saying negative, more negative yeah. things. But speaking of someone saying negative things, what do you, how do you feel about Amanda's gameplay this year? <laughs> I mean, she had she, a lot of negative she, moments. Had, she had a lot of negative moments, but let me tell you, that girl ran that house. I mean, I was trying to figure out when were they gonna vote her out. Again, yeah, you said it earlier. So yeah. you respect her gameplay, I mean, not respect because she, she didn't get her hands bloody at all. She's like, I want that person out, that one out, boom, 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 out the door they went. Well, and she was just wiping her hands like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, she is on money. Puppet yeah, master. Man. Puppet master all the way. Well, Megan wants to know what do you think about Amanda eating humble pie with Alyssa? She had a big old slice, boo. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that was gameplay. You think it was gameplay? I do. You don't think they really reconciled? I don't think they reconciled. Because when you're in that, I'm telling you, when you're in that house, I'm telling you, you know when you're in the house. I know. The emotions go high, and people think, oh my God, when you get out the house, they're not going to like you anymore. They're not going to, the person's not going to like each other. I mean, you form friendships outside the house. It, but when you're in, your ga in, that, in the house and you're playing the game, your head is in the game. You're not even thinking about what you say about people. Think about it, you're not. How about, how about like Amanda, she attacked her. I think it was gameplay as well. So you're right on point. But I do. I think I think it was gameplay. But what do you think about, like, what, what if you were in Alyssa's position? She, Amanda was in a terrible position. Yeah, she, she needed was. to reach out to anybody. And so she reached out to, to Alyssa, Alyssa, who she, she was chasing Alyssa. around the whole week, tormenting, <laughs> tormenting her. her. knocking on the door and all that. And, and then has to go to her with hat in hand, you know what I mean, saying, like, please vote for me. And she did. What do you think, would you ever turn if someone treated you like that? Would you ever give them your vote? But it it might have been good for Alyssa's game. If I, as I said, it, I think it was all gameplay, and I think Alyssa knew that, too. So would you, would you would you oh, yeah, anything, would you have well, gave her her vote for gameplay? Oh, yes, definitely. All right, well, well, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right, Megan, so yeah, he doesn't like, yeah. He, 
I forgot what the question was. It was something about humble pie. And uh, yeah, I think Amanda ate it and yeah. you'd play the game. Yeah. So we got it. It was all about gang. Well, you know, I interviewed everyone before they went in the house, right? No, I, I did. Oh, well, you didn't know. I did not know. <laughs> that. Was, that was kind of a rhetorical question. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, that's terrific. Yeah. Go well, ahead. we let them do a little time capsule, like okay. if they won the game, okay? okay. Yeah. So Amanda, I'm like, Amanda, you just finished Big Brother, what are you gonna do with this money? Let's see what she said. Amanda, congratulations on winning Big Brother. Take that money, go on one vacation and invest it wisely in some prime luxury real estate. I mean, she just said she'll take her money and right. go and buy some real estate, which is what I would do with the money too. Sometimes they say some more outrageous okay. things and we okay. like to show them when they come back, you know what I mean? So right, right. when they come back, I like to be like, oh man, you know, to, right. to kind of give it to, to them a little them. bit. Yeah, give it to them. Yeah, what would you do with the money if you won? I would've took care of my mother. My mother's a teacher, so I would've made sure she was able to retire and um, I would help out my nieces and nephews and I would actually probably Go shopping, of course. <laughs> Gotta keep it fresh. I would go shopping, invest. Invest, invest. Oh yeah. Would you buy invest. some real estate? I probably bought some real estate. Where's some. that? Where at, boo? Oh wow. Probably back in my hometown, Champaign Urbana. Yes, yeah, Champaign Urbana. Fighting line eye. Hi, holla. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's take the next question. Oh my God, you're hilarious. <laughs> Mo wants to know, why do you think Andy, okay, you know, yesterday on the eviction, why oh, do you yeah. think Andy revealed that he voted against Amanda? Because she wasn't, she, she didn't know about uh, the alliance. So, you know, when she knows, I when know, he she knows, finds that, she's oh, still yeah. gonna be a jury vote. Yeah. So if he gets out of the final two, why would he reveal up. that? I think personally, I think it was being messy. That's just my opinion. When I say messy, I think it was part of his game too. I mean, because now she knows. You that. think it's messy, or you think maybe you get to a point where you need to boast a little bit? Because he hasn't done much in the game. No, but I think now. And maybe you know you need to like. But you be know like, what? I'm the one who did vote for you. I think since the Zingbot said some things about him, I think he kind of got bold a little bit. You know, he kind. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, okay, you know what? Let me step it up a little bit. And I think. With him and Amanda, he didn't care. He's like, I'm part of exterminators now, you know? So but I you think that's smart for, ver for no, jury votes? No, I don't think they're Because Amanda's never gonna give him the vote now. No. If he made it to the final two, yeah. I think that was I don't a... Think that she would, I don't think she would never give him the vote, but I just feel like they don't realize now that now the jury's gonna be thinking about what they did when they were in the game. And Amanda's and very, Amanda influential, very influential. So if you game, make so. her mad going into the yeah. jury, I think that was personally a stupid move. I, Mo, I answered that. I think it was stupid. Because <laughs> Amanda's very influ influ uh, influential. She's going to go into jury and tell everyone, hey, if Andy gets to the final two, don't, don't vote, vote for him. For him. Oh, because yeah. she's very manipulative oh, and yeah. will turn the whole jury the way she wants it. I'm going to be honest with you, and this is just my take in. I think when Amanda get into that jury house, she's going to turn that whole jury house upside down and make them think, other ways, and they probably she's gonna probably manipulate them on the way they vote for the winner of Big Brother. Absolutely, absolutely, because that's I, what I she does that. best. Yeah. So I, why would you make a move to make her mad going into jury? The last vision you have of someone is pissing them off. Right. Not a good move by Andy. Mo, not a good move. Not a good move at all. <laughs> Alex wants to know what do you think will happen to the exterminators? <laughs> well, you know, everyone is an exterminator except for McCray that's left right. in the house. There's five left, there's four I've... exterminators, and McCray. What yeah. do you think is going to happen this week coming up? I think the exterminator is going to stay in the house. I think it's going to be an all male. I think all of them. <laughs> all male? Well, then that means. I, I think it'll GM. I think I'll get rid of GM. Well, then she's an exterminator. Oh, no, they're going to get rid of her. Oh, so you think oh, yeah, Gina Marie's going to go home? Oh, Gina Marie's going to go home. And they, is what they're gonna do? Is, I'm serious. What they're gonna do? Is they're gonna get rid of Gina Marie, and they're gonna pump themselves up and say, "You know, we came from the moving company. Now we're exterminated, so we got everybody out now. One of us is gonna win." Who do you think's gonna win? Oh God! Come on, who man. Want to Words win? of wisdom from the one. Do I want to win or who? Give me both. Who do you think's gonna win, and who do you want to win? I would want Judd to win now, out of all the people now. Yeah, I would. Okay, yeah, I want Judd to win. But for some reason, I just think. Andy might, uh, Andy might sneak his head up in there for some reason. Speaking of Judd, do you like this? I know, I know. I was looking you at that. I was peeping that when I came in. I was like, that looks familiar. It does, That's right? A, it's his shirt. It's like his shirt. shirt. Well, yeah, it's a little piece it's of a his little shirt. Piece, yeah. But it kind of represents the whole bit, yeah. 15 cats. But I, you know? I, if, if, uh, out of all of them, I think I would like Judd to win. Judd to win. And who do you think is going to win? Gosh. 
who do I think is going to win now? It, it's up in the air. I, I just feel like, I mean, because it could just vary. So I just think, ugh. pick one horse. McCray. McCray, there you go. You riding McCray horse to victory. <laughs> <laughs> McCray. All right, cool. McCray. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jan asks, actually, Jeff, you said McCray had the best chance of winning earlier. Do you still think that? You did? I did. I said that I thought he had the best chance because he had Amanda in front of him. So Amanda was definitely going to go home before him, oh, which right. happened. Okay. okay. But now there's five people left in the house. If McCray doesn't get some kind of power, like uh -huh. if it, he can't win HOH right. because he just he's won it. Just won. If he doesn't win the veto, I think he's in trouble because. Uh, now they form this exterminators group. There's four, you know, there's four of them. McCray's right. the odd man out. And uh, if he doesn't win veto, I think he's in trouble. That's just my personal opinion. Okay. I knew he had to keep a man in the house to keep that target in front of him. Okay. But uh, I mean, I, I don't know if that was gameplay or he was just in love or was he thinking out the whole time. <clears throat> he I, seems like he, he's got a whole, like he's got a hold on what's going on in the game. And I he's a he fan of the game. So he might have some tricks up his sleeve. And that's true. I want to see how he is this week without Amanda. You know, it's going to be yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's, inter that's, that's going to be interesting to see how he is w without Ema Amanda. Right. So maybe so. he could, because uh, he didn't really have a chance to bond with everyone. It might no, be too little too late. No, booed up with, uh, cuddled up with uh, Amanda. Yeah, I know. What's up, boo? <laughs> So, I mean, no, seriously. So, I mean, no, he didn't have no time to build relationships with So him, maybe this week he could get a little closer and maybe uh, maybe make some moves. I don't know. But I think also, like I said, well, he started out with the movement company, though. So, I mean, that's why I said that he might have a chance of still staying in there because I think even though he kind of had a relationship with them at the beginning, but once he got with Amanda, you know, he kind of, like, set himself off with them. But You distance yourself yeah. in a showman's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that. Oh man, I'm never gonna be able to read this name. What's that name? Tanya Lynn. I don't know. We'll go with Tanya Lynn. It's definitely not Tanya Lynn, but Tanya Lynn wants to know, Lawan, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. Tanya Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the most fabulous on Big Brother 15? Nobody. Oh, snap. No, seriously. I nobody. Nobody's fabulous? <sighs> No. How about Alyssa? She 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 was dressing oh, good. Oh my! See, I've, I've got thrown off. My bad. You were thinking about looking in the mirror. Like, <laughs> nobody looks this good. Nobody. No, right I, here. Have, no. To be honest with you, yeah, I bought. Well, I was a fan of Alyssa anyway, but um, yeah, I have to say I'll be uh, Alyssa. If you get to give somebody this flower for being the most handsomefied, who gets it? Nobody. <laughs> nobody. That's it. He doesn't, nobody. Nobody. He doesn't, no. Tanya Lynn, nobody gets it. Nobody gets it, boo. You know, I think you're right. It is Tanya Lynn. It is. I don't know why I get so confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what we're going to take? We're going to look at another time capsule. Okay. Okay? And it's going to be Alyssa's right now. Okay. We're going to see if she's handsified. But we'll see no, what she says. She, What's she going to do with she, the money? Alyssa's wonderful. She's pretty, you know? She's pretty. Let's see, yeah. let's see what she would do with her money. Let's okay. see how pretty she is. Congratulations, Alyssa. You just made history. You're the winner of the first 100 day Big Brother. Well, she's the first one that said that. She's so weird. Alyssa could get it. She, oh, this flower? She, she gets it now? Oh, oh gets there it. you go. We got a winner. Alyssa, you get it, boo. You get the flower. You it's get a good the consolation flower. prize. Yeah. Because she didn't win. But she did mention the 100 days. How do you think that plays into factor that they're in there longer than anybody oh, else? Yeah, I mean, that. I think they're like, what right we, at the point right now where the winner would be revealed on other seasons. Because okay. I think it's around 75 days. Right. I think they're around right. day 75. Oh. What do you think that plays into them being there extra long? I think it, it plays with your emotions. For like sure. your mindset. Like, you're away from your family. You're away from seeing TV. You don't even know who's winning football. I mean, all that. I mean, it's just like your mind just shuts down. You're away from society. And I just feel like your mind, you get stir crazy. How you long do. were you in there? I was like 60 plus days, 60, yeah. Really? Yeah. Dang, boo. I, I didn't know it was that many. It was, I was in there for a while. I mean, like, yeah. OK, you want to take another question? Yes. All right, let's take another question. I wish, uh, I don't know, you wish Alyssa would have won? I don't know. Um, I was rooting for Alyssa from, from the beginning. Because, yeah. Because I was, a, well, I'm not going to lie. Because I liked Rachel and Brendan, but I met Alyssa personally. Mm -hmm. And so I knew, I said, she's going to come in there Blazing, I did, and so Alyssa was my first choice. I'm not gonna lie, Alyssa was my first choice, and then McCray. McCray was my second choice because I liked just he was a peaceable boy. He just seemed like he was humble, and he just seemed like 
he was a super fan of the show. I just felt like he was going to be like, I don't know. Just, well, this we, this question from Mika Dawn kind of goes into maybe maybe you might pick McCray for this question. I don't know. Right. Luan, which male and female house guests this season would you make handsomefied? And what would you do to improve their style? Oh. <laughs> so would McCray be one of them? I will be McCray. Because he seems like a good before picture for He's like a good for before makeover. and after, but I would, I would say McCray. McCray and then pick a female. Oh, female. Um, Just go I, with Amanda. You want to go with Amanda? Yeah, let's do Amanda. Okay, let's go with McCranda. What would you do to handsify them? Oh, wow. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I think Amanda has some great legs. Yeah? Uh-huh. So what would you do? Butter I mean, those babies up? I would have her like wear some nice heels and a nice skirt and a blouse with some accessories. And her hair, I love her dark hair and make it curly a little bit and give her like some plat out with her eyes, with the eyelashes. And, and then McCray, I mean, you got to Oh, do, God. Could, what are you going to do? You cut the hair? I would cut it. You cut it? Get a good style. You put it in cornrows? No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I would do, um, with him... I would give him like a little, like a spike look, like a different look cause to handsify his you face. You cut it? Yeah. And you spike it up? Well, I would do something with, yeah, I would have to like look at him like. Would you put some gray in there maybe? Make it a little. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I would do. Boo, has my hair gotten grayer since you see me? Uh, Be honest. It has. Oh, man. What are you, did I go down on a handsify no, meter? No, you did not. You're up. You're up. I don't know why we started talking about me, but yeah, let's keep it on McCray. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would do with McCray. As far as his pants and all that, I would give him like some skateboard pants. How old is he? How old is McCray? About 24? 24. I think he just turned 24. I have to look at him. I have to see his body type. I would like to see McCray in this outfit Are exactly. You serious? Maybe with a little Johnny Depp blow hair, like pulled back, you know? <laughs> Play a little Black Betty as he strolls through I'd the I'd give him a little, like, a little accessory, like a little silver ring and a little like a vest. Um, Ah, whatever. whatever. Yeah, whatever. Let's take the next question. All right. all right, Jessica wants to know. All right, switching gears totally here. Yeah. Jessica asks, people are calling Andy Rat Boy on Twitter. You see this? I all? saw that. Okay, that's okay. So people on Twitter, you obviously gave him a name. Do you think, uh, <laughs> do you have any snappy nicknames for this season's contestant other than Andy Rat Boy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say house guest, and you say the first thing that pops oh. in your head. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to relate. Just say some right away. Okay. Ready? Gina Marie. Ghetto. Ghetto. Okay. Good one. All right. So Amanda. Bomb. Bomb. Okay. David. Who's David? Who's exactly. Who? Caitlin. Ooh. Caitlin. Caitlin. You could just whatever pops out. You try me. Give me a house guest. Uh. Spencer. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> McCray. McCray? It's Cheerios. See, I don't know. Just say anything. Okay. Oh, wow. Candace. Candace? Handsified. <laughs> We're getting goofy in here. We're okay. not even sticking to the subject here. All right. What else? You got any, you got any positive names you can call somebody? I'm going to be honest with you now. You don't? I'm gonna be honest with you. So no. in, oh, I mean, no, no, that, oh, no. let's wrap this thing up because we're uh, we're in like an outer space right now. I okay. feel like I just spun off this planet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you overall you're not really liking the season? I'm gonna be honest with you. No. Are you liking this show though? This show right here. Are you having fun? I'm having fun on this show. On hashtag BB Live Chat? On hashtag BB Live Chat. There you go. Are you gonna tell the whole world about it? Oh, I'm gonna tweet How handsome. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet it, I'm gonna Facebook it, I'm gonna Instagram it. Put it on all, and I'm gonna handsify your game right now. You know why? why? I'm gonna give you a little gift. Do you watch any of these? Get out of here! This is for you, boo! <laughs> now, you remember I used to always make a joke about the HOH? Robe. No, I don't. Because no one on our season wore the HOH robe. Well, remember? guess what, boo? You're about to. Guess what? Get in that dang Get thing. In it. Get, Get in it. Get in that dang thing. Get in watch it. Watch your mic. Oh, oh man. Uh oh. The wine's mic fell off. Oh, this whole sorry. place is falling apart. Oh, no. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Damn. I think we got a week or two left. Boom. I don't know who's going to be here Bam. next week, but I know we are. We're going to be here 12 Pacific. <laughs> don't forget to watch Big Brother every Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll see you guys here 12 Pacific next week. Handsify. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.